pillowcase. Oh, I'm How are you? Are you okay? Yes, we are fine. Hi. Well, you don't look okay. What happened to your mommy? Nothing happened to her mother. We just came back from school and the door is locked. Oh. Yes, and we are hungry. We haven't eaten since morning. Mm. So sorry, kids. Mm? I have lots of food and drinks in my house. Do you mind coming with me to my house? We are very tired. We can me. My tongue. I can't my car. My car is parked right outside. Okay? Just come with me, okay? Hmm? Alright. Let's go. My leg. Oh. Emeka. Auntie. You are my nephew. I am the only surviving sister to your late mother. And you know I cannot deceive you. But you know one thing with young youth of nowadays. You like doing things your own way. And then make gara gara. But at the end of the day, it will still not go well. I found you a lot of girls to marry. But you said no. And went ahead to marry in kitchen. Now look at what she has done to you. You forget. Auntie, but I love her so much. I don't know why she betrayed me this way. I don't know why she did this to me. You love her so much. Yes, I do. Let me tell you. What an elder sees why sitting. If you like, climb the top of the highest mountain. You will not see it. I know very well, right from the onset, that she's very promiscuous, just like her mother. Her mother's promiscuity took the life of her father. Have you not heard? No, tell me. Have you not heard? Auntie, it is not good to judge a child by the sins of her parents. In other words, Roma, you are telling me in English language, that you're not supposed to judge a book by its cover. Manakangwagi is a lie. Some sins are genetic. They somehow stick to the children, even after their parents are long gone. But I so much believe you have learned your lessons. What do I do now? Eh? As the youth leader of this land, everyone knows me. Every youth in this great kingdom knows me. How do I cover this shame? Hey, what do I do? I love that. You cover this shame by getting another wife. What? Nebonia. Another wife? You don't know. Send her away. Mm -hmm. Send her back to her parents' house. Yes. Since she has failed in her duties as a woman. eh? Send her back to her parents and forget about her. Me. I will personally get you a good wife to marry. A woman that knows all it takes to take care of a man. A woman that will give you the joy that you desire. That is how to cover the shame. Yes, cover the shame by getting a good wife. And see. Hmm?
Ucu has, what's up? Sit down, sit down. Make yourselves comfortable. Thank you. Your house is beautiful. Thank you. I'm coming. Okay, kids. You have to make do with this. Thank you. While I get you something to eat. Why did you bring them home? Could you believe they said they've not eaten since morning? How to bring them home to feed them? You're out of your mind. You were really out of your mind. You went to their house in the morning. And later in the day, their mother fell sick. You didn't stop though. You went to their house to bring sick looking children to this house. What if anything happens God to them? God forbid nothing will happen to them. Stop with the negativity. God knows my mind is clean. Well, since God knows that your mind is clean, when anything happens and police get involved, please do well to explain to them that your own mind is clean. I mean, what is wrong with you, Anita? You committed an atrocity against this family instead of you to stay clear from them. You keep getting closer to them. Young woman, Comport yourself now that I'm here before you drag my head to a knock. I don't like this. Silly. Honey, honey I'm sorry. I am sorry. <laughs> Please. I've been begging you for weeks now, but you don't want to talk to me. Please just say something. Say something to me then. Don't <laughs> stand. Please help me. You are talking rubbish. I said, you are saying rubbish. Is it because I've not changed out of my house? After I've been this shame on my face? Is that why you're still saying rubbish? No, no. <laughs> no, no. I can't do such a thing. Hmm? I, I was under the influence of alcohol. I don't know what I was doing. I don't know. <laughs> Please, 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 please. You are still talking rubbish. I said you are still talking rubbish. Stop giving me reasons for your foolishness. You are very cheap. You are as cheap as the lowest commodity in this village. I wish I knew you were just pretending to love me all this while. You don't love me. That is not love. You don't love me. I don't know what came over me. I don't know. <laughs> but I the God of marriage had to count it for me as a saint. But you know, I can never do such a thing to you. I love you so much. I still love you. Don't touch I still, me. I still love you. I still love you. Did you say love? Yes. I'm sure you don't know the meaning of love. I will not sit here and listen to those cock and boo stories about you saying you love me. Because the woman that loved me will never act this way. Please. Go! <laughs> Come on, leave me. Agumba the Great. My wife still insists that she was raped. 
But I find it very difficult to believe her. Hmm. I have made an inquiry long before now. But I found out something scary. Agumba, feed my hungry mind, please. I want to know exactly what happened. Ah, she was not aware that someone slept with her. It all happened when she went to her brother's child education. I know about the child education she attended at her brother's village. I was meant to go with her, but due to my farm work, I couldn't go with her. On that night, she was drunk. One of her brother's friends took advantage of her. So she woke up to found out that something happened to her. Up to today, she can't tell who did that. In that case, why did an Anama count it to my wife as evil? Why? When Anama was brought into this land, women don't drink alcohol. So men don't rape. If you see any woman you like, just marry her and have her for yourself. So they believe a man cannot have kind of knowledge of them without their consent. Anama was like a police that was made to arrest any married woman that was touched by any man. That tradition needs to be abolished. We don't need it anymore in this our generation. Have you ever seen a chief priest support abolition of an age-looking tradition? No, I haven't. For all I stand for, Anama should be abolished in this land. And I don't think I can do it alone, except by the king's order. <clears throat> Doctor, what is wrong with my wife? Um, based on the tests we ran so far, um, I can say that she's medically normal. But Doctor, how can you say that she's medically normal when you say that she's not? Um, <clears throat> anyway, let, let's not conclude yet. Um, um, I just ran some tests on her. I believe when we see the result of those tests, uh, we'll conclude on the way forward. Um, okay, but I want you to make a deposit of 50,000 uh, at the reception. Doctor, I don't mind selling my fortune just to make sure she gets well. Ah, I will do my best. I believe God will heal her. Have I made a mistake? I thought it is a good thing to find a wife. Why has my own been different? Was my mother right? Tell me you are joking. Because I know you are not serious. Mama, I can't be joking with a thing like that. Wait. I've known her over the years and I think it's time I settle down with, with her. Wait, is it not the same girl you brought here last month? You're right, she's the one. You can never marry her. What do you mean? What is wrong with that girl? I don't know, but one thing I know is that 
I have found a responsible girl in this village. A responsible girl from a responsible home. Don't you know that it is the duty of a good mother like you to find a good wife for her son to marry? Annabelle is responsible, Mama. I've known her for years. You are talking around rubbish. You know me. You know when I say no, nothing will ever make me change it to yes. You will not marry a girl that I don't know. I must make sure she is what be my daughter-in-law. Papa, please, talk to Mama. I do not understand what she's talking about. Please talk to her. No one will ever make me not to marry Annabelle. You don't know what you are saying. Not when I am alive. I will never allow you. Marry someone that will separate you from your family. Never! Nedi. Agni. Nedi Munyem. Calm down. Calm down. Patrick here. He is man enough to marry any woman he loves. Cello. Did you say man enough? Of course. Can you Kennedy? Let me ask you. Were you a baby? Were you not man enough when your mother came asking me to marry you and be her daughter-in-law? Were you? And another question is this. Since you married me, man, tell me, have you regretted it? Was that the reason you had to raise your voice? Because I had you to answer me! You know it has not been easy marrying you. Huh? You know that. Mama, you are talking about 13 years ago. We are in a new era. This is new age. We've passed that age. Mama, we don't move. Huh? We've moved. Yeah, you don't move. You're still talking about 13 years ago. You have moved. And I have moved too. You have not moved anything. You have not moved anything. Let me tell you. If you marry a strange woman, the promise that you will You will regret it. Patrick, don't mind your mother. Be careful in your marriage. An error in marriage will cost you all your life. What's the meaning of this? What's the meaning of what I'm No, okay, hey, name is Ogin, is it, what, what's I'm the meaning of this? Food from your wife. How? She did not cook food, so she should not eat food. Honey? Mama? Mama, I don't Papa. like this at all. Mm. How can you be treating my wife like this? Wait, wait. Eh? If your wife is lazy to go out to there and work and make money like other women, she should also be lazy in eating any food cooked by me, oh, Mama. Be a what? In our own kitchen, kwa. Mama, don't do this. Huh? Don't, don't, don't. Give, give me Mama, the apple. Mama, give me the apple. Give me the apple. Give me the apple. For what? You didn't want the apple? You're insulting me. Give me the apple. Tell your wife, if she does not want to go out and work like other women and make money, let her not come close to any food cooked by me. Else, I will pour her acid. Chelugodi, you will pour my wife acid. Bam, you help me. For taking food from her own kitchen. Which, whose food? My food. Mama, you know what? Mm. Eh? I don't think we can stay with you again in this house. It's again? Yes, you have to go. I have to go? Yes. Because of this girl you called wife. You are sending me out of your house. Okay? Oh, she's my wife and I still love her. 
So you have to go. I do not want you to kill her for me. Meaning you don't love me. So you prefer her to me. Mama, I love everyone equally. But you have to leave my house so there will be peace. Why can't you love my wife? Get home, Eggy. Wait, oh, eh? say, why, can't I why this hatred, hatred on her? Are you imposing the love on me? Why this hatred it, on her? Why? Is it by force to love her? I will not love her. Tell her to lazy about and not come close to me. Mama, Give me the if you don't want to love her, then you have to go. Let her have peace in her own house. I should go. Yes. I should go. Yes. Let me tell you. If I'm going, I'll go with my food. Tell her not to come close to my food. Tell her to stay away from anything that has to do with me. Else, the kind of fancy that will pour on your wife. Hmm? Then you return all, all our fan and, and, and our AC that you, you received. Which is? Give me a half no, we'll we'll AC. We'll give me the My mother. She hates my wife so much like a serpent. Is she the one doing this to me? Daddy! Oh! My angel! Daddy, good afternoon. Where have you been? <laughs> this auntie came here when we were hungry. She took us to her house and gave us lots of food to our satisfaction. Not only that, Dad. Dad, she also took us to shopping mall and yes. she bought all this for us. Daddy, I was hungry, but now I am. <laughs> and you say what to her? Thank, Thank you, you, Auntie. You're welcome. You. Okay, you go inside and freshen up. Okay, yeah. Daddy. All right. Take, take, take. Okay. Open the door. Okay. okay. Let, let me open it. Stop. This time, let me open. Easy, easy, easy. Good afternoon. What's the meaning of this? No, no, what is the meaning of this? I'm sorry for persistently coming close to you. But this time I... I... Hey, 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 stop. Stay away from me. And stay away from my family. Please. I know I've made mistakes. I shouldn't have let my emotions take the better part of me. I'm sorry. So let me tell you something. You're not going to get any part of me. You're not going to see me. You can't even see my boxers. Talk more of the thing inside. So just go and stay away. I have told you times that number. I'm no longer interested in that. What I want is just to make up for my wrong. If you want to make up, just go and never to come back. Stay away from me, please. Because? If anything happens to my children, I will hold you responsible. Do you get that? Thank you. Do have a nice day. He 
He is a very difficult man. He was never difficult. The taste of pain still lingers in his mouth. A family man, job hunting for about two years, two good years. I mean, the family must have been true a lot. That is why I want to help them now. Why can't he just forgive me? Why can't he forgive me? That is why I will always tell you this. Stay away from him. I need to stay away from the family. To avoid putting more problems on your own self. Stay away from him. Okay, it's okay. You just have to put yourself together. It's okay. Okay, let's go home. It's okay. It's okay. Let's go. I just want his forgiveness. I know. That is what I want from him. But I've said mine. You have to stay away from him. It's okay. Please don't leave me. It's okay. I now know it's not your fault. It's okay, don't cry, okay? Don't cry. Everything will be alright. Stand up, come on, stand up. Please don't leave me. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Okay. You know, it was my intention. I'm sorry, please. I'm sorry I did not believe you before, even when you told me the truth. I'm very sorry. Thank you. I'm sorry. Thank you. Don't cry again, okay? I got you. I got you. I promise you, I will always be there for you. I know. Baby, I, I got you this gift just to show you how sorry I am. Thank you. All these are for you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. You're welcome. Wait. It just, it's just that the picture of my nakedness is all over the internet. Honey. That's true. Shame is killing me. No, you know what? We will bear the shame together, alright? I promise you, this will pass just like every other pain passes. Alright? Listen, I'll make sure this doesn't happen again. I love you so much. And I love you too. I love you more. I love you so much. <laughs> Mommy. Mommy got sick earlier today and I took her to the hospital. Can we go and see her? Yes, but she will soon be fine. Okay? Daddy, hmm? what's actually wrong with her? Is it malaria? Yes, exactly. But I assure you people, eh? She'll be fine. I'm very sorry. Can't wait to see my mommy. 
he will see her soon. And what are you going to eat tonight? We ate fried rice and a lot of chicken today. Yeah! <laughs> oh, the chicken was so delicious. Very big. I grated and bite it. Oh, oh that is so <laughs> Yes, it was so delicious. <laughs> Papa, I think you have to stop this. I have told you before, my son is married. He is happily married. He has a male and female children. Listen, they are living happily in the city. Makes you think he will come back here and marry you. Wait, Mama told me that she wants me to be her daughter-in-law. Yeah, Shinyaka. To which of her sons? As far as I can remember, I have just one son with her. And that son is married. Happily married in the city with the family. Now, listen to me. I know you are a good girl. My prayer for you is that you will find a good husband. Enugo. You're swelling up like, of, of what happened to you? Is it not Papa? Papa told me that his son would never marry me. God forbid. <laughs> what did you do to him? Did you offend him? No, I did not. I even fetched a huge fire with thinking that Papa would appreciate it. But he did not. Instead, he was angry at me. <laughs> <laughs> now I know what his problem is. He has not taken his snuff since yesterday. You know this old man, when their snow finishes like this and they did not see any too, you know? They will start getting agitated unnecessarily. He even asked me to buy snow for him. But I did not because I cannot use my money to buy snow for him. Eh? Stop crying. Eh? Forget it. It's okay. Eh? Don't cry. Mama, if you see the way Papa was sounding, it's very serious. I'm not doing this in Wait, the I am the one talking to you. See, if you had given him snuff, he would change his tongue immediately. Mama, no. I can't waste my time like this. I'm going on. No, I'll come back. Stop running. See, your bamba will fall off. Oh. Huh? It's one of the reasons I want my son to marry you. Stop now. It is here. It is here. <laughs> Every foul spirit. The Bible says 
in the book of Matthew chapter 10 verse 1 that God has given his disciples the power to uproot and to cast out every demon in the name of Jesus. <laughs> out of her now. We are going to. Huh? <laughs> Blood are, of Jesus. We are out of her now. Out of her right now. <laughs> Jesus. Out of her right now. Let her come out of her. Out of her. Out of her now. Out of her now. Out of her now. Jesus. 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 Doctor, I'm confused. What do I do? I'm, I'm completely losing my mind. Patrick, calm down. <clears throat> calm down. See, issues like this are followed with utmost concentration. It is now confirmed that your wife, Ernest, has no medical explanation. Well, oh, I'm finished. Doctor, what do I do? Eh? What do I do? See, um, I've been in this profession for 15 years now. And I've seen issues like this. Your wife's ailments is synonymous to some issues I have handled in the time past. Doctor, you are speaking to me much grammar. I can't even comprehend them. Doctor, what I want to know now is what I will do. What am I going to do? That is what I want to know. Patrick, calm down. Come down and listen to me very attentively. If you don't listen to me now, we might not find solution to this problem. Okay. Okay. Um, people with such issues are, are always from Odo. And the last I remember, you are from Odo, right? Yes, and what has that got to do with the problem I'm going to be having? Patrick, do you know that it is a tradition in your village that any married woman that have a carnal knowledge of another man will go mad? Do you know that? Yes, 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 I know about it. Not my wife. My wife that I know very well. Even at gone point, she will never ever try such a thing with her legs for another man. No, 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 no. It cannot happen. Patrick, Patrick, we are not talking about what you believe or what you do not believe. See, we are at a critical point now, your wife's ailment has no medical explanation. At this point, I think we should find other means to find a solution to this problem. See, Patrick, I want you to go home. Go home and make inquiries about this. I think your wife must have slept with another man. Let's even go there. Nothing. We don't even think about it because I can't even imagine it. I don't know. Like, 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 Where are these kids? Um, Chi Chi and Bright. Come, 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 come. Let's go. Mm -hmm. Still there. Okay. Daddy, today is school. I'm supposed to be at school today. I'm supposed to pass my assignments this morning. Same here, Daddy. 
My teacher warned us that if we don't pass our assignment, we'll be punished. Yes. <sighs> yes, I really do understand how you feel right now. But I've already told your teacher that your mother is not feeling fine. And right now, I'm going to the village. But there's no way I will leave both of you behind. So we will be going together. Before the week runs out, we'll be back. Okay. Okay. Will mommy come with us? No, no. She's not feeling fine. But I believe she's going to get better but by the time we'll be back. It's her. okay. It's okay. You will be back soon, okay? Let's go. Let's go. Don't, don't worry. Don't worry. Don't worry. Let's go. Welcome. 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 How are you? We are fine. Fine, Grandpa. It's okay. Oh. Okay, go inside there. Eh? Okay. 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 Oh, there is a big problem. What wow, happened? Something happened to your wife? Yes. Is she dead? Papa, it's not something we can discuss here. What are they doing in this house? Uh, uh, mama, mama, what is it? Mama, stop, stop it, mama, what is it? Uh, uh, okay. Doing this? Doing what? I've told you to tell these cockroaches not to come close to me. I am not their grandmother. Oh, 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 Mama, stop, 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 stop. What? Patrick, Patrick, don't hear me. Where's my? Where's your grandmother? I have sense. I know what I'm doing. If you are their grandmother, sorry. I will tell you. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I am sorry. not their grandmother. You are their grandmother. You are calling them cockroaches, Mama or Chicha? Let's go inside. Am I please? I don't like this. So I don't just. I don't like. I said it. Hey, shut up, woman. Keep quiet, Betonu. You should learn how to talk when important issues are being discussed. Mm. Yeah, Patrick. Did you name your wife? Ram mat under your roof. That is what I saw. I'm still surprised. It's still like a dream to me up till now. Don't say dream. It's not dream. It is reality. I told you. She is a cheat. She has been cheating on you. And the God has proved it to me. When I told you she is not a perfect woman for you. Did you? Obviously, 
She is not a perfect woman. Nede, Nede. Please, Nede, let us not conclude yet. We must make necessary inquiries to understand what happened to her. Cheganjogi, you and who will make the necessary inquiries? More. Nah, please don't mind your father. And let me tell you, let it not bother you one bit because I have concluded, I have arranged a perfect woman that you will marry. Her name is Chinyaka. She will take care of you. She is good and she will make a perfect wife for you. Nedi, 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 I called you three times. Um, you surprised me. Uh -huh. okay. You are a bad woman. No apologies for this. A woman like you is mad and you are happy. Oh, Nedi, you surprised me. Did you say a woman like me? She is not a woman like me, point of correction. Because I don't cheat on my husband. So, and if you like, call me anything you like. I don't care. Nakangwagi. I thank God Almighty that I never accepted her in the first place. Tell me. How can I be called mother-in-law to Onyala? Tell me, Odima. <laughs> um, he did not finish the chest. Is she now running mad at the marketplace as a naked? We pull out water. She naked. <laughs> Tell me, oh, it's good you tell me. Hey, I'm going to be a good Did you see? Patrick, you are a strong man. I want you to be strong. Now, listen to me. Even if this is the last thing I am going to do for you as a father, trust me, I will make sure. Nothing happens to your wife. How are you? I'm fine. Yaka. Yes. I heard you've been helping my mother. Yes. Thank you so much. <laughs> it's nothing. <laughs> I would like to see you in the evening time if you're going to be chanced by then. I'll be free anytime you want to see me. Okay. In the evening then. Okay. Bye bye. It's okay. She's a good girl. I don't know what your mother fed out with. Papa, please stop talking about my mother. Eh? You, you were telling me something about uh, uh, an, 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 an one date like that. Married women. They look wrong, Marriage is not for everything. Look at this one that they naked in the, in, in the market square. Ha! What are you still covering? Can you can't even put it. Ha! Hey! To fear. What? No, who ashamed of her? She's still covering herself. She's not ashamed of herself. Nde na nu di e. Woo! Woo! Hey, hey, hey! Come on! Come on, get out! Look at these evil children! 
I did a business. Oh, a business. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Eh? Stop crying. Sorry, eh? Papa, why are the children clapping and following her like this? What has she done? Hmm. Son, she ran mad after sleeping with another man. She was made to dance round the market square naked. Now she's left to face the humiliation for a very long time. Oh, this is going to hurt her. This is going to haunt her to the rest of her life. And even her children. This would be a shame on them to the rest of their life. Son, no man deserves a cheating wife. Papa, no woman deserves to be treated like this. No matter what. If my wife cheats on me, I will never allow her to pass through this. Instead, I will send her packing back to her parents' house. Yes. I will never allow my, my, my wife to pass through this. It's not fair, Papa. It's not fair. This is inhumanity. It's not good. Son, if you do that, then your wife will live her life, her entire life, mad. God forbid, my wife will never go mad. Let's go. Ah. Oh, eh? Let's send the person back in, back to her parents. The law, allowing this now. The law of this community. They've been what? What happened? <laughs> Did anyone hit you? People were clapping and singing after me as I was on my way to the market. They were making jest of me. <laughs> when it's okay. But I thought we agreed that you should stay indoors. You shouldn't come outside. I personally told you to stay in the house. But I've been indoors for a long time now. I can't keep hiding from people. I, I, I can't. If I did from them. But I told you we are going to relocate from this village in a month's time to the city. Where nobody will know you or even recognize you. <laughs> Honey, stop crying, okay? <laughs> no. We'll bear the shame together. You'll we'll be fine. This is too much. This is too much. I can't bear this. This is too much. This is too much. This is too much. This is too much. Listen, I'm crying. <laughs> Move yourself at me. Move yourself at me. Come with me. Son, this is an deity. It has lived with us for more than 500 years. Its grip has been on this land for many years. Son, our women can never cheat on the husband because of this deity. But I've not heard that women protest against it. <laughs> Son, the women are made to live with it. They are raised to believe this law. When a woman is sleeping with an, an, a man, and the man gives him money, and she comes to spend the money on the husband and the kids, there is no problem. But, there's a problem at the doorstep.
Papa, what do you mean? Son, as the man starts sleeping with the woman, you, as the husband, will get sick. No medicine, I repeat, no medicine will cure you. But if you did not collect anything from the man, and they make love to each other, son, the woman will run mad. The woman will be made to dance naked around the market square before she will be fine. God forbid. My wife will never dance naked around the market square. Then she will be mad the rest of her life. How then do I make her to confess if she did it or not? I will cut you a chewing stick, which you will chew before you talk to her. She will regain her consciousness and confess to her crimes to you. What is it? Why are you frowning? Talk to me, what is it? Daddy, is it true that our mother is mad? What? Who said that to you? Grandma, of course. And she also said she is not our grandma. And she can't give us food. Daddy, who is my grandma? Did you hear that? Did you just hear that? Mama is taking too much. Why should Mama do this? Eh? Why? She's really stepping on my toes. My son, I don't want you to lose focus on what is at hand. Papa, no, I really need to talk to Mama. Her actions are becoming too much. Mama? Pa Patrick, Patrick, come. Come, come, Patrick. Mama? Patrick, come. Mama? Say Don't yes. Call me, baby. Say yes to me. And I'll spoil you with whatever you want. Name it. Money, gifts. Mm. Oh, come on. Money, gifts. So you think you can have every girl you want simply because your parents are rich, right? No, I don't mean it that way. Well, as a matter of fact, you know I don't talk to ladies. You don't talk to ladies. <laughs> Clap for yourself. Because I know you slept with my flatmate, Queen. And I know you have slept with so many girls. Yeah, Annabelle, that's not true. Annabelle, I can swear. I have never ever seen a princess. He doesn't even know how to lie. What am I even standing here listening to your rubbish? Excuse me. Annabelle! Annabelle, Annabelle just say yes, please! 
Annabelle, just give me a chance, please, Annabelle. 